Today, let's look at the biggest obstacles facing young dentists as far as debt reduction and saving. I'm going to look at a young dentist budget, a representative one of a young dentist family of either one doctor on his own or a dental couple early in their practice or early right out of dental school and what their budget would be. And I'm going to scroll down here and read the notes. All expenditure figures are taken from interviews of young dentists under age 40, cross-reference to BLS 2.2015 quintiles of income before taxes, and it's been indexed up for inflation. First column is average expenditures when renting home, excuse me. Dentist in second column bought a $600,000 home. Tax estimates provided by moneychimp.com, and there's more down there if you want to read it. But basically, these are average amounts that young dentists spend right out of school. Okay, well, let's look at it here. We've got a low spender for monthly cost, a doctor by himself, in parentheses if there's a couple, if they're married, if there's two doctors together, and high spender. Uh, obviously, I have some things in red. So let's look at this here. And this is actually taken for a course where I put down for young, have dentists put down uh, what they think their amount may be. And then we add it all together to see if they can find areas where they can cut back or change so they can save more rather than spend. Okay, autos. Normally it's about $800 for two people, $500 for one. That means two vehicles versus one. Uh, in your early career, you normally don't have expensive vehicles. High spender, yes, they bought new vehicles. So two of them will spend about $1,200 per month, one $800. This includes everything, insurance, fuel, depreciation, which is about half the cost of autos, service, and so forth. Donations, charitable donations. Nobody is giving probably away a whole lot in early practice. Clothing, $100 a month or $1,200 a year for a single doctor, about $200 for a couple, and it's going to be about double that for a high spender. Somebody who feels like, you know, they really deserve to have nicer things, but still are not spending a fortune, as you can see here. Hobbies and sports, between $100 and $150 a month. That's $1,200 to $1,800 a year. Dining out, low spenders, $250 a month for a single doc dining out that's going out like well once a week to maybe a nice place with a date uh, for two people they're probably going to spend a little bit more than that uh, the high spenders it probably will be about double that the numbers are still not crazy here they're not in red obviously uh, sports concerts nightclubs probably not a whole lot of action earlier in, in your career once we get into mid-career it goes up for all of these gifts 50% is for holidays. Uh, again, we have a single doc, a couple, and higher spenders. Single doc and a couple. Groceries. This is for a regular grocery store. $250 for one doc, $500 for two. Uh, higher spenders. This is going to be Whole Foods. You're going to spend more. Rent versus mortgage. Okay, here's where things get a little bit dicey. Usually about $1,000 for a single doc, $1,300. These are not nice places necessarily to rent. If you purchase a home, you're going to pay quite a bit more. $2,500 uh, for one or $2,500 for two. This is a $600,000 home, by the way, game. Not a really expensive home. And this is a regular uh, apartment in a decent area in mid-America. Household, cleaning, maintenance, and home improvements. Very little if you're living in an apartment. Definitely more if you're living in a house. Hygiene, haircuts, nails. A high spender is going to spend more on mani pedis, facials, and that sort of thing. Utilities is going to be a little bit less in an apartment than in a home. Life insurance and medical. Uh, I actually put in that the higher spenders buy life insurance and the lower spenders don't. That changes things a little bit per month. Vacations. Okay, here's where we differ again. Spending quite a bit more for the high spender than the low spender. Total spending per month. If 
Okay, we add this all up together and we come up with a single doctor on his own who is not a high spender is going to spend probably about $3,500 a month. A couple is going to spend around $5,000 a month. High spenders, it's going to be about $10,000 a month for two people and $7,700 for one. Total annual expenses, around $60,000 $60, for a couple who are not spending high or being fairly frugal, and around double that, $120,000 for a high spending couple. Income. Young docs make probably about $125,000, say at a corporate clinic. Both of those numbers are the same. For couples, we're adding in another job for $50,000. So a couple would make maybe $175,000 right out of school, either for the high spender or the low spender. Total annual expenses, we subtract from above. And federal taxes, Social Security, Medicare, are going to be actually higher for the low spender. Why? Because they don't own a home. There are tax breaks for owning a home. So you spend about, uh, what do I have here, seven dollars $8,000 less. State taxes, again, are going to be lower if you own a home. What's left after all is said and done to pay off loans or save? After all your other expenses, for a young couple who are not high spenders, you can save up to, say, $60,000 a year, earning one hundred and seventy-five. dollars That's about one-third. This is my cat in the background, Toby. Sorry about that. Yeah, he's saying, wow, that's really good. Uh, for the high spender, it's going to be quite a bit less, much less, in fact. Well, what's the big difference here? 11000 versus 62000 That's amazing. This is around a third, which young couples should be able to save and put either towards loan payoff or investing, you decide, versus 11000 or even with a single doctor next to nothing. That's a huge difference. Well, what is the difference here, guys? And I think you already know. It's buying a home too soon. There's nothing wrong with buying a home long term. It provides stability. But short term, when you're first out of school, it makes no sense whatsoever to buy a home. Yes, all your friends have homes. All the people that went to work earlier than you who are not doctors have homes. You can't afford it yet. Thanks so much for listening. How's he doing? How's he doing? Okay, I'll be quiet.